Hey everyone, welcome back. In this JQL and Jira search tutorial, we are going to learn how you are going to smart query the issues based on the priority, resolution and issue type. So issue type search we have already seen and we have also touched briefly about the resolution or the status previously. Now with the uh, priority or with the resolution, the concept still remains same, right? Say for example, let's search something here, right? So if I just want to see what all uh, issues are basically assigned to me, I'll simply type my in the quick search and all the issues for which I am the assignee will be displayed here on the screen, right? You'll see all of them are being displayed. Now, based on the priority, we have already looked, right? So if I simply type in medium, right? If I simply type in medium priority or just type in the word medium, it gets mapped to the priority, right? So you'll see that in this screen here, it is already mapped to the priority. And that's what the smart query does. It basically identifies if you're typing in something which it can recognize as a smart keyword, then it maps that to that particular attribute. Now, based on the so resolution, we can basically just type in the resolution, it will filter all the issues of that particular, uh, sorry, the priority. Um, for that particular priority. So at the moment we have searched the issue based on the medium priority and you will see the medium priority issues are being filtered out and displayed on this screen, right? So there is only medium priority. Now if I want to say uh, the highest, right? So say highest priority, simply type in highest and only the highest priority issues will be displayed, right? So you'll see that highest priority issue has been displayed and highest is being mapped to the priority. Now going to the uh, issue type, right? So we know that if I simply want to filter the stories in all the instances in all the projects, I'll simply type in the story there and will filter all the stories in all the projects, right? So it's not just single project. If you see, it is basically all the stories in this particular instance where I have the access, right? So there are different projects where I'm the member and all the stories that are there in this particular instance, which I'm member of, then those are being displayed, right? So this is basically how we are going to search the issue type. Now, if I just want to search the issue types test, I'll simply type in test and any issue type which matches the test issue type will be displayed accordingly, right? So only test issue type. Now, if I have to filter based on the project, I've already explained that put the project key, for example, RT is the one of the project which has the which which might have some of the stories. So let's say I want only stories of the RT project. So I'll say RT space and the issue type. So it will display the stories of the project RT, right? So you will see only RT project stories are being displayed. So this is how we are going to filter issue type. So any issue type that is there within your Jira instance, there could be custom issue types as well. So you can simply type in the name of that issue type in quick search and smart query will identify and you'll see that as soon as you will type in the keyword, which is identified as a smart query keyword, this pop up will appear that smart querying has been activated, right? If you do not want to run with the smart query, you can click on this run search without smart query. Okay, now coming back to the resolution, right? So we haven't looked at the resolution, we did had a look at the status, but say, for example, I want to search based on the resolution, I want to filter all the issues that have been unresolved. So simply type in unresolved. Okay, and hit enter and it will filter all the issues that are unresolved. Okay, the resolution is unresolved and wherever I have that access for those issues in the project, right? So it will filter. It's not just specific project because we have just filtered that all the issues that are unresolved. I want to get a list. If I want to get a list of specific issues or say epics that are unresolved, then I'll simply say epic, right? And just mention unresolved in that case. So it will filter epic. The issue type will be epic, right? So you'll see that issue type has been mapped to epic and the resolution is unresolved. So it will filter all the epics that are unresolved. Okay. So this is briefly how you are going to filter the issue type resolution and priority 
with the smart query within Jira. You can match it or you can create a more complex query within the smart query itself. If you want to filter a specific project, put the keyword for the project. If you want to filter a specific type of issue, you put the type. If you want to put a resolution, put the resolution along with the keyword, right? So say for example, in the RT project, I want to get all the epics that are unresolved right so it's as simple as that so project key or name and then the issue type and the resolution that you are looking for okay so if i enter it will filter the issues accordingly in that particular project right so project is rt issue type is epic and resolution is unresolved so it has filtered me those results here so that's the benefit of smart querying and how we are going to use smart query to filter the priority resolution and issue type within jira you can create more complex queries using these concepts so go ahead practice and thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next lecture